Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with humankind game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So many users were able to solve the problem by just restarting the computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now still you're facing the problem, you can go to this location and then delete the humankind folder. So for this, open file explorer, then open, go to this PC, then open C drive, then open the users folder, then open the your username folder, and then open the documents folder over here, and then find humankind folder over here. Now before you delete humankind, let me inform you, once you delete humankind, all the game progress will be lost. So make a right click on humankind and then click on delete. And after you delete this, you can go ahead and try to launch the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem this has worked for many users so it might work for you now the next step is for steve user so you can go ahead and uninstall epic games launcher if you want to so go to start menu then click on settings and then click on apps and then click on apps and features and over here you can go ahead and find epic games launcher and then click on epic games launcher then click on uninstall and then again click on epic online services then click on uninstall and after the uninstall you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game now this has worked for many users so it might work for you the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website so i'm showing for nvidia go to nvidia website the link is provided in the video description Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select the right graphic card and right operating system. Then click on search. Then you have to go ahead and click on download. And after the download, run the exe file. And then you will see this screen. So click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom. And then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. And after the clean installation, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. The next step is to run the game and the Steam as an administrator. So open File Explorer and then go to this PC. Open C Drive, then open Program Files x86. Then find the Steam folder, open the Steam folder, scroll down. Over here you can see Steam EXE file, make a right click, then select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on Apply and then click on OK and then now you have to go ahead and run the game as an administrator for this go to Steam make a right click on the Steam make a right click on the game and then go to manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder so you have to go ahead and open the game folder over here you will find the game exe file in my case the game is still downloading it's not complete that's why my folder is empty over here but when you open the op humankind folder you will find the game exe file now once you open this humankind folder you have to go ahead and make a right click on the game exe file i'm showing you with different applications so first open this folder then make a right click on the game exe file then select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply and then click on ok and then try to launch the game and try to launch the game from the game installation folder so instead of playing the game from here you go to the game installation folder make a right click then select manage then click on browse local files and from here you will find your exe file over here and then try to launch the game from game installation folder now the next step is to install visual c directx and .NET files for this go to this location so for this open file explorer then open c drive again then open program files x86 then open the steam folder and then open steam apps folder then you have to go ahead and open this common folder and then open this steam works shared and then you have to open common redist folder and then you have to first of all go ahead and open VC Redist and then open each folder one by one. So for 2010, you can open, make a right click, then click on run as administrator for x64 program. Then again, click on VC Redist underscore x86 
and then click on run as administrator and then go back and run all this exe file from each folder from 2010 till 2019 you have to open it then make a right click on vc redis 64 and x64 and x86 you have to run all the file as an administrator then once this is done open directx folder and then open june 2010 scroll down here you can see dx setup make a right click then click on run as administrator and after the installation open this .NET folder and this time you have to go ahead and install this .NET from each folder so make a right click and then click on run as administrator again open this folder make a right click then click on run as administrator so from all the folder you have to go ahead and install directx .NET and then VC Redis all as an administrator now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and copy this link this link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 run both x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file then run both the exe file over here click on yes to allow click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow run the x64 version as well so you have to go ahead and install both the version click on repair or install whatever you see and once the installation is complete you have to go ahead and restart your computer so let both the installation complete first now you can go ahead and click on restart from here or you can close this box and then go to the start menu then restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu then click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and after the installation you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus or windows security so if you have any third party antivirus installed on the computer if you have Bitdefender, Avast, Norton, McAfee, any antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game.exe file to antivirus program. In case if you have Windows security, go to settings once again and then click on update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down here you can see manage ransomware protection, click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the steam library then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder and then you have to go ahead and open this humankind folder and once you open the he humankind folder you will see your game exe file select the game exe file then click on open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam and then make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then put, uh, click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to disable steam overlay so make a right click on the game and then select properties and uncheck the box which says enable steam overlay while in game also uncheck the box which says keep game saves in steam cloud and then try to launch the game also disable uh, close all the overlay applications so if you have uh, any other overlay application running on the computer so if you have discord running on the computer go ahead and close discord now in case if you have ge force experience running on the computer go ahead and close ge force experience so close all the overlay application on your computer also disable steam cloud which we already did now perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab over here and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first then click on disable all and then click on apply ok and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to close all the overclocking applications so do not overclock so if you have any overclocking application running on the computer go ahead and close it so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer go ahead and close it if you have Reva tuner running on the computer so go ahead and close Reva tuner 
so make sure that you close all the overclocking application and make sure only the steam and the game is running so close all the browser all the application only steam and the game should be running you can also go to the start menu then click on settings and over here in the search box you can go ahead and type in background apps and then click on background apps and go ahead and disable this turn this off and then try to launch the game the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game for this make a right click on the game and then select manage then click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then once you go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer so after the uninstall delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to improve the performance so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel